We're here, it is leg day, squat day. We are prepping for the Arnold Classic in Ohio in March. Again, we've got Mr. Mawagi here again. So uh, he's just gonna be in the camera annoying you and trying to show us. But yeah, we don't listen because we know better anyway. We sent the rules of the Arnolds to Dan. So we picked up a few things that we because we can't really read rules. We don't interpret that well. So I think we learned is- They're two meter straps. Straps. Wraps. Two meter. Uh, knee wraps that we've got to yeah. use. We've got two and a half meters, so we're going to tweak it a little bit yep. today. There's a mono lift, and we might be using the uh, blocks you see at World Strongest Man to touch and go, so we'll see what happens. So, a few things to think about. But a squat's a squat, we're going to drop it like it's hot, so let's go. Tom gets annoyed because we can't go to the highest height, but if we did, I'd be able to squat like that. Which I'd be half of us. I never hit depth anyway. We've got, I think, heavy doubles for both of the lads. Just starting to move some heavy weight. I think we're five training weeks out from the Arnold with having to like deload for Britain's strongest man as well. So getting used to the wraps, getting used to positioning, getting used to sort of using a monolift. We're gonna do some stuff afterwards to try and simulate that. So yeah, just getting ready for the event, seeing where we're at. Like if you know what monolift is, it's obvious, but squatting with a monolift basically means you don't have to walk the bar out of the rack. The rack moves out the way of the bar. So we're gonna be walking out the working sets and then we might just do some heavy unracks to get that routine of not walking out to squat. 220 is about right. Yeah. Never get a new pair. Ever. Mr. Minaghi does it again. <laughs> Sitting down feels nice. Bending my knee might not be a possibility. <laughs> Another like quarter of a turn, so the tag's at the front. How does that feel getting wrapped by someone else? Sexual. I felt like I had a bit of meat. Enjoyed it. A little bit too much. Again, it conserves energy for, for us. I've had it done before by someone in the world, but it was the first time I had it done and it threw me off. Dan's going to be out there in Arnold's. Yeah, it's a good thing. So just get used to that, used to that feeling and see how squats go today. Feels good so far, so 100. 80 kilos to go. Is it similar to last week? Are we starting off um, not as tight and getting tighter or is it just one consistent tightness? Um, it's more of a consistent tightness. Um, we'll probably do it a little bit tighter but not overly like before. Last week it was a lot a lot looser when we started off. This is pretty tight at the moment. Like Dan says we maybe got a like a quarter of a, of a wrap. Tightness felt pretty good for me so we'll see. Excited to push it a wee bit this week. Happy? Thank you. 
Yeah. Science. Jesus. How does it feel? It feels like pleasurable. <laughs> Oh. I'm too fat for this. You want to do like a smaller jump? Yeah, that's what we do. Just because that was a 50 kilo jump, so that's great. That's a big jump. Yeah. So we do a, a 20, a yeah. 290. 20 kilo jumps, that'll be 295, but just, just 300. It's over five. Should I 12 pounder? Keep doing doubles, yeah, or just a single? I do a single for a single. If you're feeling warm, yeah. just do a single to yeah. get the weight. Lovely, right? 340, 350, try a double this week. I guess just getting that confidence in the knee up. They're feeling nice up there. Uh, Last um, rep there, that felt really nice with the knee wraps. So it's just getting used to that way of wrapping. And I think the, the knee wraps are more effective. Sounds a bit weird, but like the heavier go as well. The heavier weight pushes you down more and then you can get that spring off the bottom. That's what it feels like for me. So yeah, another, another kind of three sets um, of doubles. I'm gonna start doing doubles next time. Just really push it. Saying that to Dan, having Dan wrap the, the wraps around their knees, really saves a lot of energy for us as well. So last week I was sweating like a pig, man. Jesus. So Dan will be sweating like a pig now. I'm in the hole, I can't get no spring on it, like Luke can. Hold we'll wrap a little bit higher up. Yeah, higher up. Yeah, because the higher up the quad, it will give you a bit more bounce at the bottom. Mm -hmm. so bounce. Yeah, like we'll it. wrap yours a bit higher. Are you alright with yours, Luke? Yeah, but it moved a bit. Yeah, but it felt like... 315. It was 295 with the chain on. Yeah, so 315. We'll just see how it feels with the, the wrap further up, because that might... The 275. When I picked it off, I thought it was going to be easy and I didn't give it respect, if that makes sense. You know, all this is going to be a piece of piss. Um, and it wasn't to be a bit more aggressive, maybe. So it's hard enough to bend down and then take it back, you know. Well, that's it. I'll try again. Sorry. No, no, just take it back. Take. Again, brace yourself. Hold it. There you go. There we go. Nice and solid. Come on. Easy for you. Come on, you've got this. Come on. Come on. Yeah. And drive! Drive! Drive. When I went down, there's no support there. I feel my knee 
popping out, opening up. There's literally, all I can feel is down here. When I go down, there's no, i will probably be better in the sleeves. But there's no, uh, yeah, but it's crossing your kneecap, so it's so I feel when it's crossing, it's popping out of place. We can wrap them differently if you want, yeah, or you can wrap them whatever you want to do. You try wrap them differently, but I can't, I just don't know. It's not like it's there's no, there's no support there at all on these. So, like every rep is getting this one's going so you can see that's the thickness of the wrap, yeah. So, when you bend your knee, Tom. Okay, so you could probably move it up. And that's the top of the wrap there. Can you move it up slightly? I well, could move it up a bit, yeah. But it doesn't have to be 30 centimetres between the least knee as well, so you can't. It'll depend. Now's the time to talk about it as well and make that decision on what. If you were going to wrap them, where would you put it? Just anywhere I feel tight. I wrap them different all the time. I just do it like one wrap, 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 and then just tie it over to the wraps there. Because last week when you wrapped them, it went really well. Yeah. And it's the same way of wrapping. 220 was alright, but that's light, that's why. Yeah. I can't judge on lightness, but that I was stuck in that hole there like so. I'll do it again after and wrap it and see. Yeah, you wrap it for the next one or tell me how you want it wrapped. You wrap it and then you know I can watch you how you wrap it and see how it feels. Definitely is a wrap one, isn't it? How heavy is this? Uh three two five now. So just again a double, three two five. From a 335, 340 double as well. All going to plan. Nasty. I just wrap my knees anyway, I just guess them and I think it feels better. My knees, well wraps in my eyes, knees, knees, my knees need to feel protected and I wasn't getting spring on the way like Dan was doing it with Luke and me and then I just did it my own way and I felt more comfortable. Maybe I was in my head too much that I had to wrap it a certain way but I just wrapped my knees there. I think I just did it in four up and then just back over the middle and got that nice uh, secure kneecap so my knee wouldn't move and stuff and I was squatting and it felt a bit better but uh, yeah so at least I got the free 15 or free 20 whatever it was so I'm gonna do some reps on the next one and we'll see how it holds up there Yes, 
Oh, it's a nice cool drink of rain. Total body fuel. How did that go, mate? Uh, yeah, felt good. So kind of same weight as last week, but for a double. A couple of quick reps as well. Didn't take long to do it, so it was good. Yeah, happy. It's progressing. We've ordered, I don't know what we said, but we ordered a couple of uh, squat suits, single ply squat suits, so they'll be here all going to plan next week, I believe. So we can then introduce them to our training and see if that adds a um, extra bit. What do you think the difference will be when it's a monolift, when you don't have to walk the bar out? Um, I've used monoliths before and I still actually prefer to take a lot of walk just to set myself. It's just personal preference really, you know, it's um, monolift, you don't have to, in reality, walk out with it. But I might still just have a little couple of steps just to get my kind of, my position right. We don't have a monolift here yet, if any monolift suppliers want to supply world's strongest man, Europe's strongest man, a monolift, please get in touch. I'd rather smash it up now. How does that feel, Tom? Yeah, better. Like the protection's around the middle of the leg, knee, which is. I like it. Come on. What we might do is, you know where the box is, yeah. maybe set his below parallel so he can bounce rather than... It's just different squats want different wraps. Last week the 320, obviously the start of the squats, you kind of see my head went a wee bit, but um, the, the wrapping now is four up and then two in the middle and that's working better for me. I'm feeling more, much more support when I'm squatting and yeah, it was a better squat. So I'm going to do another double to end uh, 325. You know, this is the heaviest squat I've done in a while and if I can get another double this, that'll be, what, five, four or five reps at this weight, so it's going to be good, so, yeah, all good, all good. Luke's squats are moving really well, looking really strong. It's the first time I've wrapped Luke's knees, so I used sort of my normal wrapping technique and it seems to work really well for him. That same technique didn't really work well for Tom. We adapted it to what he prefers, a bit more material behind the knee and smashed out a really good double. So pretty much a spot on squat session. And what are we doing now? Uh, leg press, I think the lads are doing. So yeah, get big legs. Hey guys, that squat's done. So both hit our three sets of doubles, which was good. You got your knee wrap sorted, which was which was class, looked really strong. Um, we're going to go on and do some leg press again, bigger leg press than Ronnie Coleman ever did. I think we're going to do today. You feel that? Yeah, buddy. Good morning. So we're going to get that done, and then accessories after. So stay tuned for that. Come on, 
want the, my hands to the gum on. Yeah. Just maybe half an inch up or so. Just, yeah. I was looking at like my chilies, the fucking mark. So the I think the second last set we had it just going through the chili. Okay. <laughs> and that felt really nice. Um, so it was about kinda about, probably about there. That felt really nice, so Yeah. Or the last two sets, so I think just I can hit that each time. That's gonna be there for a while. <laughs> The cruise liner is ready to go. <laughs> Tom Strigger. Oh yeah. Have one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Legs press done, now we're on to Dan's favourite, it's just ice, isometric thingies, yeah, let's do it, boom, hey, oh yeah, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, you know, these, these, these exercises help your knees, help these wee little muscles that you've got in your legs, and help your hips apparently to dance, so yeah, let's do it. Kneel down, and now you can shuffle that foot forward. <laughs> this? Yeah, you might want a bit more room. <laughs> This? Yeah, front foot more forward. Isn't it? <laughs> so 90 degrees. Here. So come about to here. Don't pull that leg up. Oh, sorry. Can you find this? So I know. I don't want to go into it when it's. How's it? I'm just hanging on. How's that going to help you? That is second slow. Maybe one who's a tanker like that. Oh, no. That was nine seconds. Oh, you did. <laughs> Feeling good, it will get into. Not even as opposite me. Yeah, that's well, time. <laughs> Just do one set. No, no, no. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Think about every moving event, every time that's hitting the floor. Yeah. Three seconds to go. Time. Big one. Don't push forward. There we go. Three, two, one. Bang. We're trying to get everything working properly, and these are a safe way of yeah. really fucking yourself up. Hold it, Tom. Push that big toe down. Push that at 10 seconds, huh? <laughs> Three, two, one, time. Five seconds, come on, mate. Three, two, one, time. Yeah. <laughs> Bulgarian squat squat holds done properly. 
actually quite hurt, as you can see. Yeah, that was good, really felt it in my kind of upper thighs, hips, knees, ankles, shoulders, knees and toes. Um, so yeah, it was, it was quite a tough one, but glad to get it done. We're going to go and do some uh, banded hamstring curls, lying down banded hamstring curls, get that done, um, and then we've got calves, um, and then that's it, job done. It's good squat day, happy, good input from Tom as per. It's a slug! <laughs> One set for this. One set. Hi right guys, so there's the hamstring curls done, aka the slugs. <laughs> now we are on to the last exercise of the day, calves. Then we're going to do some planks. So let's get these big juicy calves pumping. Bang! <laughs> Right guys, calves are done. Speak balabusha. Yes, here we go. Anyway, <laughs> last last exercise of planks, weighted planks. Was it 20 kilograms? 30 seconds. So let's do it. Oh, this was nice. What's this for? Oh, Three, two, one, time. Three, two, one, time. Right guys, that is squat is done. I hit the heaviest I've done in a long, long time. I think Luke has as well. Uh, as you can see as well, the wraps, trying different techniques for the wraps. I got happy with my wrapping technique. Luke was happy with his one. Um, but yeah, overall squats is very good, isn't it? So, mm. onwards, hopefully every week we can keep improving. Not long to the Arnolds now, so we need to keep on working in and digging hard. We are going to go home and do some hot and cold. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. Don't forget to ring that bell. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding. <laughs>